community members concerned about gun violence. They're looking for solutions to help reduce crimes across neighborhoods in Charlotte. We see and see Charlotte's Jesse Pierre shares more from a local advocate. When I was growing up, you didn't you didn't shoot people when you got mad, right? You, you, you just didn't. Gun violence shattering families and communities across Charlotte. Just left a vigil last night and parents were hurt from, you know, the mother couldn't even uh, stay for the whole vigil because she couldn't deal with the fact that her son got killed to gun violence over some nonsense. As of May 31st, there have been 37 homicides so far this year in Charlotte, and that's according to CMPD. Two more people were gunned down on Saturday in different shootings in the area. Community advocate Brandon Brown is urging people to find other ways to solve their problems, adding that time behind bars and a loss of life is not worth the bullets. You have to deal with consequences and you have to deal with the fact that you took somebody's life over nonsense, over something that could be settled tomorrow. He is taking his efforts to the streets, spreading awareness through marches and speaking directly to the people impacted by the violence. Brown says it takes bringing the entire community together to make a difference. When we go to these convenience stores and they hanging out or we go to these hoods and they hanging out, go out there and socialize just to let them know that we care. In other words, we have to come to them. Brianna Martin, an East Charlotte resident, wants to see more programs for the youth, and she is calling on city leaders to step in, especially in high-risk neighborhoods. That is literally what we've hired, what we voted elected politicians to do, to go into their communities that they're supposed to be serving and say, how do we better serve the people that have elected us? Meanwhile, Heal Charlotte, a nonprofit, is partnering with CMPD, Moms Demand Action, and other city leaders to host a Stop the Violence Day Summit at the end of the month to discuss the issues plaguing communities and provide solutions for change. Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.